Point number two on our list of 10 today, and we're going to be moving even faster now, is press releases are not just for reporters anymore. You know, I was sitting in a meeting with Margaret Epperheimer and Eric Schmidt, the current CEO of Google, who then was the CEO of Novell, and Margaret made the statement to us to think web first in all of our marketing and PR efforts. To think web first. The internet has changed everything. And over the last 12 years, we certainly see that come to fruition. The fact is that if you're not thinking internet, when you think marketing and PR, you may be out of step with the times. It used to be that you would fax a press release to the reporter, and the reporter would make the magnanimous decision to cover your news. Now, that was one audience. You'd give them just the facts. You'd use very few adjectives. You'd use the AP Associated Press style format. But fast forward 10 years today, a press release is a published document itself. It is published. It is self-publishing. It can spread virally on the Internet. It can create a permanent Internet footprint for you. It has to look good. It has to be focused on more than one target audience. It can be read by clients, prospects, investors, partners. It also has to be search engine optimized, and we make sure that we grade every one of our press releases produced at Pilmer PR so that it is search engine optimized. Business Wire says that if we do a good job of putting rich media content in the press release, then it's twice as likely to be read by more readers.